Hello everybody, my name is Bader. I'm from uh, United Arab Emirates, Abu Dhabi. I'm from Technology Innovation Institute, located in Abu, Abu Dhabi as well. Today I'm going to present P pushing PS4 to the limit, F16 simulation and tuning. Most PX4 systems, as we know, it's uh, operating in low speed and also stable dynamics flights. But the aerospace today is uh, it's going toward the faster, more agile and high energy vehicles. So the beauty of the beauty of uh, uh, the beauty of F16 is to give us to give us a high uh, high high uh, to give us the best energy management and also the stability, the most important thing. This is not about uh, flying a jet for the for a sake of flying a jet. It's about discovering how far PX4 can go and how far we can take it. Moving to my agenda, setup and architecture. So I'll go briefly about the setup and architecture to know which setup I use and which simulator I use to test. After that, my F16 journey. Why I wrote my F16 journey instead of uh, writing some uh, technical uh, points? Basically, because uh, when I started the PX4, I was totally new to PX4, so I'm a beginner. I'm happy to say that also. When uh, so I started as a beginner, and the F16 gave me a challenging platform, basically, which uh, I I I faced many issues. So the 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 toughest way. And each issue I faced, I tried many, 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 I tried many steps to solve these issues. After that, we'll go to result and I'll allow some time for uh, Q&A. In my setup, I used F16 JSP SIM. Basically, it's a JSP SIM, it's an open source flight dynamics engine that simulates how the aircraft behaves in the air using a real dynamics and the real physics. For the simulator, I used our internal TII simulator. It has many blocks. Basically, the JSP sim run the flight physics, how the aircraft actually flies. The PX4 run the autopilot. It reads the simulated sensors and send control commands. The, the ROS2 is the communication layer, communication between uh, PX4 and uh, Q ground control. After that, we have the visuals, the Isaac Sim and Gazebo. In my case, I didn't use the visual, but I mentioned here because this is the whole architecture for our simulator. Now moving to my F-16 journey. It has two parts. First of thing, the integration part, which how I integrated F-16 to our simulator. The next part was uh, the tuning and troubleshooting part. Moving to integration as a first step, I need to import the F16 JSP SIM model to our uh, simulator. Then I need to, to I, need, I need to just basically I need to register as a new craft choosing the airframe I used as a rascal I used the uh, rascal is airframe and also rascal actuator mapping. It was uh, I, why I use rascal because it has uh, a well structured fixed wing. So. I use it, then I built on it for the F-16. After that, I added some sensor to JSP SIM because basically JSP SIM is created for manual flights only, not aut autonomous flights. And PX4 required some sensors, for example, IMU, GPS, and also barometer. Otherwise, it will trigger some uh, warning and some error, and also to not allow to arm the vehicle. Next. By defining the, the environment, I create a simulation configuration file by defining the, the scenario and also defining the coordination of it. Tuning and troubleshooting. Moving to it, at that time, I, honest, I honest, honestly didn't have any, any tuning experience. I didn't know also what to tune, basically. So I was getting the issue, trying to investigate, and hopefully try my best to fix it. So in my case, I had some challenges, the stationary, then takeoff, stability, and landing. So, so basically the whole flight pattern. Moving to stationary. The first issue was notice that, that 
as soon as I run the simulator, the aircraft starts slipping away. It's go, it go by itself without any command. So basically, it was sliding. And honestly, at this stage, I didn't know where to start. So I used a, joy, a joystick, trying to discover something. Maybe I'll, 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 I'll get some, maybe I'll get some solution on it. So when I press the fourth rotor, I noticed that the speed wasn't that high. It was maximum to 70 meter per second. So here I noticed that I need to, to tune the airspeed, the forward airspeed, the maximum, the trim, the stall, and also the minimum airspeed. After, after many tries, I was too desperate. I was trying to tune per meter by per meter. I was trying to basically to try testing. Maybe I'll get the solution. Then I was too desperate. I want all the F16 XML file line by line. It was thousand thousand of lines. So I noticed there there's a coefficient for ground reaction. Basically, the JSP sim created for an air uh, an air only reaction, not for the ground reaction. So the parameters were too low. So I I tuned the parameters. Iteration by iteration until I, I reach the stationary here. Moving to the next slab, the takeoff. After solving the stationary problem, I was too happy. I thought now I'll uh, creating a simple mission, I'll run, uh, I'll run the mission and finish my project. But here I noticed something. The vehicle can't lift the ground. It's stay on the ground like a car, basically. It's moving forward only. <laughs> so now I have a bit experience of tuning. So I downloaded the BX4 logs. I tried to check what is the issue. Then I, I saw that the elevator was already at the ex extreme. But there is no pitch authority to lift the, the aircraft. So basically, PX4 want to pitch up, but the aircraft doesn't have the more energy, doesn't have the energy to lift it. So here I uh, tuned the pitch authority basically by incre increasing the pitch proportional again to give more elevator authority. I reduced the pitch time constant to have more uh, response or, uh, and pitch. And also, I, inc I increased all the pitch rates to allow the, the aircraft can lift easily from the ground. I set the, the angle to be 30. So here I reach, I reach some, uh, I have some result for the takeoff before the aircraft couldn't lift the ground. After modifying the parameters, tuning the parameters, now, uh, now the aircraft can lift the ground and move to the next waypoint. The stability. Honestly, this is was this was the most difficult challenge that I have. I have it until now, basically. When I want to, to change some parameters, I need to maintain the stability of the aircraft also. During turns, the aircraft was turning and losing altitude and crashed to the ground, basically, during any terms, even sharp and not sharp turns, so it, 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 will, it will keep crashing to the ground. So here, this showed that the roll control wasn't strong enough, so I increased the proportional gain for the roll to have more roll authority, and also I increased the time, the, I, I reduced the time constant of the roll to have more response and roll. After that, I increased the acceptance radius because I want to have smoother path from waypoint to another waypoint. After that, I decreased the speed altitude priority just to maintain the altitude during turns. Here I have some results for the stability. As we can see here, it reached the waypoint during the turning, crash. 
the next one it reaches to the waypoint it turns and follow the follow the path so here i reach to i reach to the stability basically landing basically the landing i'm still having some issues with it the landing because uh, it has more i i need i need to tune many parameters i need to define a lot of channels to to have the f16 landing but uh, i overcome these challenges at the beginning the aircraft was loitering was loitering at the landing and because it didn't reach to the landing requir requirement the speed and the altitude so i went back to the stability i tried to tune uh, the parameters more just to reach uh, just to, to reach to, to a stable altitude the aircraft not jump, jumping between altitude and altitude after that i tuned the landing parameters which is the flare and also the landing detecting because the the f-16 is it has a high speed so it detects the landing in high conditions compared to fixed wing and I reach to a point that it can it can landing, but it need more time to land it. That's all. For some results, I prepare some result for uh, maneuvers of F sixteen for me just to check the stability of it, and also I have uh, this chart for uh, the altitude loss. So basically, I have three three turns, three sharp turns. It overcome the first one and stabilize itself. Next one as well. For this altitude, before I had a loss of, if, even if the F-16 was in altitude of, of 1,000, it reached the ground and crashed every time. So here I reached a point that the loss was 50 to 80 meter in each turn, so which is good compared to before. Here's the full full simulator. Simulation for a simple basic mission, just to show. The speed was here around 260 meter per second. It can't, it can't reach more than this. Thank you for listening. I hope I shared uh, some valuable information. And if there is any question, I'm here. Uh, I actually have five questions, but I'll go <laughs> one by one. And if one, anyone has other, I'll just pass it the mic. Uh, first of all, uh, which version of PX4 did you test this? 1.14. 1.14? Yeah. Uh, okay, and you talk about a lot about um, uh, tunings, but did you have to actually do firmware changes to actually no, allow this to work? No, I didn't change. No, no, no change at all. It was okay. mainly about tuning. Okay, fantastic. So that mean that the uh, sensor update rates and uh, actuator uh, publishing rate was the default one. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, more on the <laughs> about uh, more my curiosity now is uh, what was your max roll angle that you set for those the turns? bank angle the the roll angle bank angle yes it was seventy sorry seventy seventy degrees nice yes. um, why did you choose that specific simulator for the F sixteen the F sixteen yes I was looking uh, basically when I started I was looking to the to F fifteen and F sixteen F sixteen was well organized. Each uh, parameter was in one file. F15 it was separate. I need to combine them all. Okay. No, sorry. The question was about why that specific simulator, not the model, but why that the simulator. simulator? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. our internal simulator. Sorry. It's our internal simulator and our company technology. Uh, okay, you got it. Uh, my, my my following question was: Is it any of this uh, open source? If we want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> the simulator, I don't think so. Maybe, but the tuning. Uh, Maybe, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Because it's all, it's full owned by TIA. Yeah. Yeah. Got it, thank you so much. No All right, uh, any more questions? Yeah.
Tar Tariq? I question. Can you shut that, shut off that one? Thank you. Hello. Hi. Uh, I might have missed this during the presentation, but to properly You're simulate this aircraft, I'm guessing you need moments of inertia, uh, how much thrust the aircraft has, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm guessing some of these might be confidential or maybe not public information. Um, do you mean are they like, do you, are, were those simulated as well? Do you mean the inertia on this stuff? Yes. Yeah, on the all simulated the NF-16. Oh, yeah. Does it all. Okay. Uh, the same question as this might be the same question that he asked, but is that information public? The tuning, yeah, maybe, but uh, the simulator is owned, uh, full owned by Tim. I see. Okay. All right. Very cool. Very cool, though. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right. Anyone else? Yes. Here you go. Thanks. Uh, so it sounded like yesterday the fixed wing uh, controller does not account for side slip. And when you're doing rolling with an aircraft that large, you might need to account for that. And I wonder if that's what was causing some of those stability issues. So I was wondering if you ran into those challenges or tried to deal with it that way. I uh, couldn't get the question. Um, did you account for side slip when you're doing those roll maneuvers through your controller? Or were you just using the base controller from the fixed wing module? I was using the, the, the base one. OK. Uh, I would suggest, hopefully, if you do this in the future, mm. maybe try and account for the side slip with an aircraft that large. Yeah. You're probably going to just start falling out yeah. of the sky like yeah. you were describing. Because, yeah. Um, yeah, you're going to get some really, really strong side slip. Thank you. Thank, thank you for that. All right, uh, anyone else? No? OK. Well, thank you, Valerie. Thank you.